Okay, we're back. I'm gonna turn in this mission to Astrid. While away, I went back to the college, did some grinding. Got some up some more skills, went up a level. I'm not gonna up a lot of skills doing these missions. Ah, you're back. So, mm -hmm. how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's <laughs> chamber Mother's and chamber. talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. <laughs> Maybe so. Being a but bit healthy paranoid. paranoia has saved this sanctuary before, and my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. What do you Dear want me to do? Mother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, mm -hmm. you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Oh, right boy. Then. Oh, this is... I... Fucking hate this mission. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Nothing! Not that I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? When you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, he's oh, not the listener. How can I defend you? Oh no! Exert your will if you will not speak to anyone! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Speak. I will speak oh my god! You, for you are the one. Yes. It's necrophiliac ASMR. Who shares my iron tomb? Who warms oh, god. my ancient bones? I keep you. 
his task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak Speaking of bones. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. When silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me. I am the one. To you? Yeah. More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there I'm the is listener. No listener! Wait, she said to tell you darkness rises when, si when she, silence dies. She said that. Yeah. She said yeah. those words. To you, darkness rises when silence dies. But yeah, those are the words, your boy. the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then I, I cucked you with your true. mom. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor! I spoke only to the Night Mother! I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me! Oh, no! She spoke only to him! To the listener! What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? I'm the listener, bitch. It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. Yeah, when I bitch. heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? No. Then what yeah, in Cicero's name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? Of the fool's rambling. What? It's true. So Cicero wasn't it's talking true. to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. Mm -hmm. To yes. you? Yes. By Sithis. Yeah, bitch. And what did she say? I'm uh, supposed to speak to somebody about some stuff and some Amal stuff. Motier? I have no idea who yeah. that is. But Volenrood, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So I should go to Volenrood. Or should hmm. I talk to the the dude no. and the thing no. about Listen, stabbing a stab? I don't know what's sticky, going on here, but sticky, you sticky. take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you. But I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. This bitch is pissed. This is I'm all just listener. too much too fast. 
Go get some work from Nazir. I need time to... to think. I'm the listener. Ain't shit no more. I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> oh, Cicero, well, did you want to be the yes, listener? Yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... maddening. But that was then, this is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Will the Night Mother speak Surely to me again? You're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course, the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Oh, the listener... well... Listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Are you excited? Okay. Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. All right, brother. Well, then, your oh, time Astrid. couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts one rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Hmm. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis's sake, watch yourself. Watch yourself.
He's a vampire what was that? and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but female too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. I get turned around in here sometimes. Please, not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. Hey, I didn't mean to scroll down that far. It is a pleasant night for a bit of adventuring.
Oh, I don't want to turn this in yet. I want to go...
All right, on our way. On our way, on our way. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. That is some, uh... Luxurious that smell looks hair like it'll there. Hurt. Oh boy. Get away from me. Hey, you want to play a game? Figures. You elders are always so boring. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. What's the matter, friend? Kajit got your tongue? Maybe you need a little... There once was a stranger with eyes full of danger. He spoke not a word, but his meaning was heard. Sing on, sweet Lorbuck. Sing on. <laughs>
Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good to have a customer. Wait, 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 wait. Let's give this dude, this poor stupid bastard a chance. Come on in. We got warm food. Is the line for my next performance food. starting already? <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Ha! Oh, that's a good one, friend. Killing Lorebook. I mean, can you imagine something so ludicrous? Depriving the world of my unique talents? <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing! <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? I didn't get a, a, a bounty for murder. I wanted it was simple assault. Draw a weapon. Okay. Okay. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. No bounty, no one saw that. Okay. It sucks.
heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Been a yeah. murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. Okay. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go oh, to yeah. Valenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Oh. Turn these in, and call this stream. So many... Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. No sarcasm this time. Yep. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else she'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Well, Any more contracts? the eager one. Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. All right. Hard save also. We'll call it quits for right now. And uh, I want to thank everybody for.